Hello everyone, welcome back to another Gunpla unboxing. Uh, this time we're taking a look at uh, Origins kits, multiple. I'm actually filming two at once. Um, the first one being the RX-78-1 full-scale development. Um, this is obviously from the Mobile Suit Discovery. Um, I really don't know anything about this kit, to be quite honest. So, um, looking here, obviously it's a prototype for the RX-78 um, and it's uh, it's actually got really cool colors. I like that it's black and more industrial rather than, you know, big white, blue, yellow, and red. Uh, I think this works really good in this kit's favor. So off to a good start on the design. Uh, down here we see the front and back as well as the story about the full-scale development. It's in English there, so you can pause and read that if you'd like. And then some information about uh, the full-scale or the bubble suit discovery thing in and of itself. Here we see that it is obviously high-grade Gundam Origin. I believe this is number 21. Uh, on this side, you can see some of the accessories. Down there, you see definitely uh, there's the arm cannon, shield, a secondary shield, shoulder cannon, uh, machine gun, and two beam saver blades with a third handle. So that's cool. And then we have a nice set of hands over there. And just to confirm, yes, it is, in fact, 21. So obviously I already pre-sorted these as I normally do, but uh, just just to let everyone know. Um, so I left everything in the box as is. So obviously we start off with our assembly guide, both in uh, English, Spanish, Portuguese, various Asian languages that I, I can't read. Um, so that's that's pretty nice. All clearly laid out. And it tells you basically everything you need to do, even how to apply water slides. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> then actually looking at the runners, um, the first two are, uh, the first one at the very least is duplicated. Here's runner A1. Um, it is uh, a lot of different colors, actually. There's gray because all of the uh, the joints and stuff are gray. Here we have black for legs, and that's also leg. I, I have to assume thigh, maybe? And then uh, vents, I think, if maybe. I'm assuming it's vent, because it's the only other thing that's that color. And as I said, it, it is duplicated. Here you go. Here is a second one. Then over here is B1. Um, it's, again, all black. Here is your front of your secondary shield. All your beam saber stuff. Uh, here is pieces for the head. There's your third beam saber handle. Um, that Right, there's the V-fin and different parts of the skirt, I think. Um, looking nice thus far. Here we have uh, C2. It's uh, your red pieces basically just for the, the face and the uh, V-fin cover. And I can't even say it's red. It's a very deep red orange, actually. So it actually looks really cool. I love the colors on this, as I may have mentioned. Uh, here is... Runner C1, this is torso bits, feet, and arm, maybe? Not entirely sure, but there is that. Over here is <clears throat> D1. Um, here's the bottom of that one shield. There's uh, what I have to assume is in... Oh, uh, that's the backpack. Uh, there's the bottom of the torso, joints, obviously hands, and a hand cover there. Uh... This is all bits for the shield. Looking nice, as I said before. Uh, here is runner D2. It is a very nice, deep, uh, translucent red. It is uh, for the visor. This doesn't have exposed eyes. It actually uses a visor over top, which is kind of cool. Uh, then we have E. Uh, here is actually the chest vents that I think are going to end up being used. And then the cross for the shield over here. Uh, there's also torso bits. Um, so I think I'm going to end up with actually a lot of leftover pieces. Um, here is bits for the weapons. Uh, again, there's a secondary torso there. So um, if you're looking to like kit bash things, I guess Origins kits are where you need to go. Because they get a lot of leftovers there. Uh then there's just a few more. Here is uh, 
backpack again. So yeah, you get extra backpacks, which is actually very convenient because I need an extra backpack. Woo! Um, and then the pieces for the shoulder mounted gun that I may or may not use. I like the look of it. So we'll see how that goes. Over here, uh, the machine gun. There's the handle, uh, barrel bit on the back that I believe is the stock. Not entirely sure. And this is a uh, flexible plastic for the, uh, I can't think of the word, the, the belt that feeds into the arm Gatling. Then we have a bunch of poly caps. I really hope I don't end up using these all, uh, cause that would be obnoxious, but yeah, then, you know, beam saber blades, they're, they're not too special. Here we have the stickers. Uh, in fact, I... Okay, there is foil stickers. I was like, I don't see any of the other army. Okay, so this is all the decal markings. Um, obviously, RX-78-1, Earth Federation Forces, all of your uh, detailing on the, the body. All of the angles get a little bit of those orange. And then here, here is the sticker decals. There is four... I want everyone to know that I, let's get it to focus. See three and four there? They're absolutely minuscule and I hate them already. Uh, then are the eyes as well as, uh, I believe that goes on the skirt to cover the, the V there. Um, all of them are actually relatively small. So me and like comparison, stumpy fingers, oh, that, that'll be a whole mess. All right, last. But not least, we'll take a look at the instructions. Obviously, RX-78-1, full-scale development. Here's some information about the mobile suit. Gundam info, Bandai. Nice and fun. Opening up. All the way. Uh, here we have our parts list. Um, yeah, see, if you, if you take a look, there's a lot of X's. That means I don't use uh, quite a bit of the different uh, pieces in here. And then the polycaps... Um, there's a somewhat significant amount that I don't use. It looks like I would use about half, so that's nice. Looking through the instructions, um, they're laid out really nicely. Um, obviously, they're bigger. Um, it's part of what I love about the Origins line. They actually end up um, a lot bigger and a lot clearer as a result. Um, and they're all in English, so it's even better. Uh, there you go. You see the body into the skirt and the arms, followed by legs the final assembly, and then your weapons there. Uh, and then on the back, we have some more information about uh, close-up on the head and chest, uh, action poses, shields, weapons, and then uh, the marking guide, which I hate. I hate this kind of marking guide because it's like so cluttered that it's hard to really see, uh, unfortunately. So... Ugh. Uh, and then, obviously, color guide uh, down here. There is two different shades of... Uh, a, apparently, that's supposed to be dark brown. I don't see where anywhere gets the dark brown, but sure. Then black, light gray, orange, gray, weaponry, which is supposed to be dark blue. I didn't get any of that. And then the red sensors. So, with all that out of the way, I'm, I'm really excited for this. I love RX-78s. They, uh, they make me happy on a very visceral level. And um, the Origins kits have done nothing but great things for me. Um, they're packed with detail and lots of extra bits So uh, for kit bashing and stuff. So I'm, I'm really happy. Um, again, uh, I don't have much else to say. So thank you all so much for watching. This has been uh, High Grade Origin RX-78-1 Full Scale Development Unboxing. Be sure to go to the link in the description for my blog to get the review the Saturday after this uh, video goes up. And it's been a while since I recorded an unboxing. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, so I'm sort of rusty. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. Bye, everyone.